This is Dabu7. I wanted to shed some light here on an issue that we're having here across the country where they're saying there is a very serious shortage of many different drugs here. Amoxicillin, Augmentin, Tamiflu, Albuterol, Tylenol. All of these erupting across the United States here recently. We also have some other alarming numbers. There was a record set in October for the number of parents that had to take off work to take care of sick children. And they're saying that this issue is exploding across the country. It's what they're trying to call a triple-demic when you're talking about COVID, the flu, and RSV. And there's all kinds of arguments here when it comes to that. But right now they're saying there's simply not enough medication to go around. One doctor says, been doing this decades, has never heard of a Tylenol sh shortage here in the United States, along with other medications. But for those of you that may run into this issue, sick kids or things of that nature, you might want to prepare because they're saying that this stuff is disappearing. That we have not even got to the heart of flu season yet. Winter's still a month away officially. And that this is the situation. So I just wanted to put the heads up out there and let folks know that if you can get your hands on some of these medicines, do so. I also know people that are in the medical field. They're talking about how cancers and all these other things have exploded. I wonder why. Just here in the past year or so. So a heads up here again for folks out there that may face this situation. If you can get your hands on some of these medications, I would do so quickly. I'll leave links and I'm going to break this down further on the next live stream. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four winds of the earth. Shalom to you, few sisters out there as well. It's Brother Abiyah coming at you with another lesson. All right. And you hear, uh, that's that dude, uh, Dabu777, seven, 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 or 77, whatever, was saying um, that, you know, a lot of these uh, drugs that a lot of people uh, depend on, these over the counter drugs, um, they're not uh, anywhere to be found, man. You know, they're uh, quote unquote running out or whatever. Okay, but we all know that Esau is stopping the mass production of these drugs, man. Okay, uh, especially anti antibiotics. Okay, and headache medicines as well. That's what he mentioned, and flu medicines and things like that. Because the Heavenly Father is putting the spirit on Esau to bring out all these pestilence, man. Okay, it's all of the Heavenly Father's doing at the end of the day, man. I give Esau no credit. Okay, and this is uh, it says COVID hit HIV detection in Europe, and it says it threatens eradication progress. Okay, it says the number of people in Europe with undiagnosed HIV, or I call it the HIV, has risen as testing rates fell during the COVID, the C19 pandemic, threatening a, a, a global goal of ending the disease by 2030. Report said, Lord willing, we not, we out of here by 2023, beginning of 2024. <laughs> the Joint World Health Organization, WHO, and European Center for Disease Prevention and Control report said that in 2021, a quarter of, uh, fewer HIV diagnoses were recorded compared to pre pandemic levels in the WHO European region. Okay. And we all know that, you know, a lot of people that got that. Uh, serpent sauce, you know, got the hit, got the HIV, man. Okay, that HIV. All right, and this is just another uh, pestilence to be uh, worried about, man. Okay, especially if you're going out there and you're, you're uh, looking to uh, sow, uh, uh, what is it, uh, sow your royal oats, <laughs> you know, you gotta be careful, man. Okay, because a lot of people, a majority of the people took the serpent sauce man so they can get back to work and you know so the world can go back to the way they 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 wanted to go back to but it's never going to be the same again but it's you know it's good to be uh a little careful with who you dibble and dabble with man i'll put it that way 
all right because a lot of people probably got the hiv and don't even know it all right and this is just yet another uh breakout pestilence that the heavenly father is putting on the earth man okay and we see everything coming from every angle man as far as the famine and the pestilences and you know the wars and rumors of wars you know the weather the, the uh you know hurricanes and earthquakes and tornadoes and you know volcanoes erupting you know everything is happening at one time man okay to push back from the people that you know was going over there in shanghai and china you know all of that you know that's definitely going to come over here as well man all right so let me get uh some scriptures here lord willing this lesson is edifying i, I got another um get rid of that got another article too man you know i seen a brother had bought it out earlier um i'm on gabar um let's get isaiah 62 right and i want six to seven right and it says, I have set watchmen upon the walls, or thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. Okay, so when we are doing these lessons, going out to the highways and byways, when we're praying, okay, we are giving the Heavenly Father no rest, man. Okay, and it says, those ye that make mention of the Lord. Okay, that's us, man. We make mention of the Lord. We call on his true name, which is Yahweh. Okay, daily. Okay. Uh, you know, morning, afternoon, night, you know. Little little short prayers during the day, man. Okay? But this is what he does. This is what he has set us up to do, man, is to be watchmen, okay? Upon the upon thy walls, right? To let, you know, the sheep in the body, you know, know what's going on in the world, man. What's What's to come? You know, the uh you know the dangers that are out there, man. Okay, this is our job as watchmen. Okay. Let me get uh Ezekiel 9 and 4 real quick. Right? And, he, and the Lord said, I mean, and the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city. Through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. Okay? So this is basically all we're doing. We're sighing and we're crying, man, because we're tired of this place, man. You know, brothers is bringing things out every day, man, about something different, you know? And all of these uh, things are um, being heard by the Heavenly Father, man, Lord willing, you know? Because we keep sighing and crying to him, man, for all the abominations that are surrounding us, man. You know, and these pestilence are just another abomination that's um, surrounding us right now, man. Okay? And these pestilences are going to be killing large numbers of people, man. Okay? Soon come. I just came out with a video about a, a brain-eating uh, bacteria that's uh, flooding the nation, man. Particularly in the southern part of the United States, man. But now it's going to, you know, it's spreading up the East Coast to the West Coast and, you know, up north, man. All right. So, you know, these are things to look out for, man. OK, because, you know, we're going to know why, you know, all of these people are dying, man. First and foremost is because it's uh, judgment from the Heavenly Father, man. Right. But, you know, ultimately, we're going to know. You know why all these people are dying why because they wicked man okay so we just keeping our eyes out you know for these pestilences because there's there's even more okay let me just bring this out what the brother had brought out earlier because it says scientists warn warn long frozen zombie virus is public health threat amid thaw right now i don't believe that they found a fucking salakia i don't believe that they found a, a, a zombie virus, you know, that's frozen, you know, in the lake of Russia. I don't, I don't believe that, man. Okay, I believe this is Esau's way of, of just telling the masses, you know, prepare for this next because we just created this in the lab, right? 
That's that's what this is here, man. Okay. And brothers had um uh, dreams about zombies, you know. I believe I had I had a dream about zombies. Other brothers had dreams about zombies, uh, vampires, you know, things like that, man. Okay, and these things are definitely coming on the earth, man. It's gonna be a lot of weird stuff going on, you know, out here real soon, man. You know, unexpected things, things that we never even expected to come on the earth are gonna uh, come on the earth, man. Okay, it's gonna be a real uh, crazy and turbulent uh, time, but yet. And still, it'll be a beautiful time to be alive as well to see, you know, the downfall of this kingdom, man, or this queendom, rather, right? So keep a lookout for this too, man, about a frozen uh, zombie virus, right? Public health threat amid thaw, okay? <laughs> Yo, I don't trust Esau at all. Of course not, man. You know, I don't believe they found it. They, This is something they created in their lab, man. Because at the end of the day, this is a... Uh, a pact that they made with you know demons that they summon up man and demons said they gotta alert the, the masses before they go ahead and do what they do so this is just their way of alerting the masses because if they don't alert the masses and keep that uh that oath um you know it won't work for them man okay but little do they know that it's the heavenly father that's really working with them on the left hand side but they don't know this man okay they so damn proud they think they're gonna you know be be the most high, be like the most high, be higher than the most high, man. We all know that's not going to come to pass at all, man. The Heavenly Father is just toying with these dudes right now, man. All right. So let me get, um, let's get Habakkuk 2 and 1 real quick, man. Just to back up the first two scriptures that I brought out. Okay. And it says, I will stand upon my watch and set my, and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved, okay? So that's what we all doing out here, man. We standing on our watch, man. We watching to see, you know, what's going on out here, man. You know, we keeping a close eye, man. We're being circumspect, man. We're looking around, man, okay? And brothers is pumping out videos day and night, man. You know, it's a beautiful thing. And brothers are bringing out different edification every day, which is also a beautiful thing, man. And Esau hates this. He hates the fact that, you know, we on him, man. We see what he's doing and we're bringing out what he's doing, man. Okay? And we're, we're alerting the masses, you know, to his uh, his wickedness, man. This is why Esau is pissed off. Or well, one of the many reasons why he's pissed off, man. You know? But this is what we are to do, man. You know? And we, we, we're to do this until, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai comes, man. That's uh, Matthew 24. Let's get 40, uh, 42 through 46. And it says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would have not suffered his house to be broken up. Right? Therefore be ye also ready, for in such is an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing, man. Okay, so we don't know the day, the hour, or when Yahweh Shai, our Lord, is coming, man. Only the Heavenly Father knows. But this is why we stay occupied in prophecies and we stay, you know, occupied in this book and reading and studying, right? And doing these lessons to warn the sheep. And edify the sheep in the body, man. Okay? And this is something that we are supposed to do until Yahweh Shai comes back, man. Okay? To just stay stay in the spirit, man. Right? Let me get uh second Ezra. Fifteen and twenty-four through twenty-seven. It says, Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power defile not my sanctuary. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. Right? For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. For the Most High shall not deliver you, because you have sinned against him. Okay? So when all these pestilences come out, man, you know, you people out there that do it wickedly, are going to get caught up in these plagues, man. 
There's going to be no escape from these plagues, man. You know? You know? You're going to get caught up in here, man. There's nothing that, you know, no saving you, no none of that, man. You know, there's going to be a lot of a lot more pessimists coming out, man. Right? And, uh, you know, even, you know, back in the days when, um, you know, the plagues of Egypt, right? You know, the plague of the frogs and the plague of, uh, you know, uh, uh, famine, right? In the book of, uh, what was that? Uh, Genesis uh, 37 chapter through uh, the 50th chapter, you know, when it talks about uh, Joseph and uh, Pharaoh had that dream. Right, and he he uh, sought out uh, Joseph for understanding of the dream, and Joseph basically told him that it was going to be seven years of uh, famine, man. You know, go and store up all the food that you can, right? You know that famine is coming here, man. You know, all the famines of old are going to come here at one time. You know, here here in Babylon the Great, man. Okay, it's going to be a time like no other. Let me go to uh. You know, because these things that happened back then are going to come back on the earth, man. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. So these things are going to be coming back on the earth, man. Okay? And everything that has happened then is going to happen now again, man. You know? So let me get uh, Baruch. I'm going to try to make this fast. Because this is when the Heavenly Father. Yeah, this is when the Heavenly Father, um, you know, put some plagues on um, on Israelites here, man. Okay. It's Baruch 2 and 1 through 7. It says, therefore, the Lord hath made good his word, which he pronounced against us and against our judges that judge Israel. And against our kings and against our princes and against the men of Israel and Judah to bring upon us great plagues such as never happened under the whole heaven as it came to pass in Jerusalem according to the things that were written in the law of Moses that a man should eat the flesh of his own son and the flesh of his own daughter okay note that plague is coming back to the earth as well man people are going to be out here eating it literally eating their children man you know that's the first thing I see, I think about when I see someone, you know, with a child, man, with a little child. You know, I think about that often, like, damn, that's going to be a horrible time, man. You know? And uh, the Heavenly Father is not going to have mercy on a lot of these children, man. Okay? A lot of these children that are being born now are coming back for judgment, man. You know? Moreover, have he had delivered them to be in subjection to all the kingdoms that are round about us. To be as a reproach and desolation among all the people round about where the Lord has scattered them. Thus we were cast down and not ex exalted because we have sinned against the Lord our power and have not been obedient unto his voice. To the Lord our power, Yahweh, appertaineth righteousness. But unto us and to our fathers open shame as appeareth this day. For all these plagues are come upon us which the Lord hath pronounced against us. Okay, so you best believe when you seeing all of these people dropping dead. First of all, when you see all these pestilence coming, okay, don't give Esau no credit, man, because it's of the Heavenly Father. When you see all these people uh, dying in large numbers from the sickness, right, because famine is going to breed sickness, man, at the end of the day. You know, not being able to, uh, people not going to be able to wash themselves. You know, the water system is going to be shut down. No electricity. Okay, all of that is going to breed sickness, man. Okay, and it's of the Heavenly Father. It's going to be the Heavenly Father that's going to put the spirit on Esau to do all of these things, man. All right? For all these plagues are come upon us, which the Lord have pronounced against us, man. And this time is coming back, man. Is Israelites, two-thirds, are going to be hit hard by these pestilences that are coming, man. Okay? You're going to see a lot of Israelites, man. <laughs> I ain't going to say uh, being zombies, you know, but I'm just going off of the, <laughs> the article, you know what I'm saying? But we just got to wait and see how that all plays out, man. But it, it's not too far-fetched that, it, that it, you know, it'll happen, you know? It's not far-fetched at all, man. The Heavenly Father is far out, man. All right? I just want to read one more account, man, of the plagues, you know, real quick. It's Psalm 78. 
and I'll be done. Like I said, it's just a short one, you know. Let's get a uh, start at 38. Uh, 53. And it says, but he being full of compassion, he being Yahweh, the heavenly father, but he being full of compassion forgave their iniquity, destroyed them not. Yea, many a time turned he his anger away and did not stir up all his wrath. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passeth away and cometh not again. How oft did they provoke him in the wilderness and grieve him in the desert? Yea, they turned back and tempted the Most High and limited the Holy One of Israel. They remembered not his hand, nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy. Right? You already know this is talking about when Moses was leading, you know, the stiff-necked Israelites out of Egypt, man. How he had wrought his signs in Egypt and his wonders in the field of, of Zoan and had turned their rivers into blood and their floods that they could not drink. Okay? It's going to be a lack of water out here too, man. All of these pestilences are going to come back on the earth at one time, man. He sent uh, diverse sorts of flies among them which devoured them and frogs which destroyed them he gave also their increase unto the caterpillar and their labor unto the locusts man because the caterpillars and the locusts are the ones uh, that you know eat up the vegetation man okay he destroyed their vines with hell and their sycamore trees with frost he gave up their cattle also to the hell and their flocks to hot thunderbolts, man. Woo you know, them thunderbolts, Heavenly Father was sending them thunderbolts down to the earth, man, through the chariots, man. You know, killing up the flocks so there's no meat, no meat to eat either, man. Okay, and we going through that now. They trying to make uh, 3D meat and shit, man. Who want to who wanna eat that? Okay, they telling people they should eat insects, you know, locusts and, you know, locusts and grasshoppers is, is lawful, though, you know, so... You got to end up eating that, then so be it, man. You know? And he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them, man. Okay? And there's definitely going to be a lot of evil angels, spirits created for vengeance out here as well. They already out here, man. More so in that day when all hell breaks loose, man. Okay? He made a way... To his anger, he spared not their soul from death, but gave their life over to the pestilence, man. Okay? And smote all the firstborn of Egypt, the chief of their strength in the tabernacles of Ham. But he made his own people to go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. Okay? So we hope to be these people that the Heavenly Father uh, guides out of the wilderness or out of Babylon the Great, man. Okay? The elect. You know? in the one third remnant man we pray that we are these people right here but he but made his own people to go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock and he led them on safely so that they feared not but the sea overwhelmed their enemies okay but at the end of the day it ain't going to be the, it's not going to be the sea that overwhelms the enemy it's going to be that hot fire that nuclear fire man at the end of the day man all right that's going to overwhelm the enemy here in Babylon, the uh, great, a.k.a. America, the United States, all right? But just, you know, stay prayed up, man, because all of these sicknesses, you know, and these uh, um, diseases and things are, are coming to the earth, and they're going to come in large numbers, and they're also going to wipe out large numbers, man, okay? So stay prayed up, man. Keep your eyes open, man, all right? And watch and see what's going on. You know, pay attention, be circumspect. All right. So, this is Brother RVR, man. We'll say shalom to the next one.